it is time to get off your butts and implement IPv6. IPv6 is the new protocol for the Internet. It replaces IPv4, which is rapidly running out of address space for all the users and devices moving onto the Internet. While IPv6 has been around for quite a while, its adoption to date has been limited. The main reason is that it is not backwards compatible with IPv4, and so network operators are faced with the daunting task of providing new services based on IPv6 without negative impact on the already large base of Internet users. This leads to fun, or fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Fear is an understandable reaction. People fear the unknown, fear change and fear the risk of failure. Fear can prevent action because it seems safer to stick with what works. IPv4 works even with addresses running out because network operators have installed tools to share addresses and extend the life of IPv4 network address translators or NATs. But these stopgap methods come with cost, the end-to-end -end model is broken, and many applications don't work or need special help to operate through these NATs. Methods to increase the effect of the address sharing are proposed that would bring even more difficulties, and some larger operators are faced with no way to directly address devices in networks that are soon to be larger than any private address space available in IPv4. IPv4 is definitely coming to the end of its useful life, and doing nothing is not an option, as the growth and vitality of the Internet will suffer. This should engender more fear than the alternative of moving forward with IPv6. Uncertainty arises from a lack of knowledge about IPv6. Some are not convinced that there is even a need for IPv6. Many who recognize that IPv6 is inevitable are not sure how to deploy it, are not sure if the network products they rely on will support it, and frankly would rather wait until someone else takes the first steps. In other words, when the market proves that IPv6 will really happen, then they will jump on the bandwagon. Unfortunately, this leaves everyone waiting for someone else to jump in first. In reality, many product vendors and network operators have already jumped in. Most routers are already capable of carrying IPv6, as are most widely used operating systems. Check with your product vendors and online documentation and convince yourself that IPv6 is reality. Doubt is another roadblock. Operators are not sure that IPv6 will solve their problems, and it certainly is not a magic bullet or doubt their own ability to take on the deployment. This may be due to ignorance of the many solutions that are built on top of IPv6, including a plethora of tools for transition and coexistence, end-to-end -end security built into the protocol, and advanced approaches to mobility. In future installments, I will take you on a tour of the motivations for IPv6, the capabilities it brings, and the resources available for you to step up to the IPv6 challenge. Together we can work to reduce the fear, uncertainty, and doubt. So, are you ready to get off your butt and implement IPv6?